Yo! Can you believe that we got a Prisma lens before we even got a T-Net lens? Come on. But hey, it's something new from Barrow, right? What's good, folks? It's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video, taking a look at the new Prisma lens from Barracateer. So go and grab yourself one. As you know, the ultimate rule of Warframe, if you don't have it, get it. Now, what are the major changes that we've gotten with this weapon? If you compare it to the old lens, you do get an additional two ammo maximum. So that's eight extra shots in the reserves. And of course, reducing the charge rate with a 0.8 instead of a 1.2, you get 0.8 times a additional crit damage and 11% more status chance and a whopping six extra impact base damage. And as for the radial attack, we got an additional 80 bonus blast damage. So how does the lens work as a bow? Pretty simple. It's an AOE bow. But on direct hits, you will deal impact damage with a guaranteed impact proc. After that, you will have an initial explosion, which deals cold. And after a second, you will have another AoE explosion dealing cold and then blast. So the damage time goes from impact, cold to blast. And yes, a singular modded element will combine with your innate element. However, only on one part of it. And building this weapon is not that hard. But first, let's compare it to the Kuva Brahma. In terms of raw damage and ad clearing potential, the Kuva Brahma is still far superior. However, the Kuva Brahma does have that little issue when it comes to ammo. But this is where the lens excels at. Lens has a passive, an internal ammo mutation, meaning you don't have to mod for ammo mutation mods, making it very, very useful because you can just spam your shots, kill enemies, and get additional ammo. But the downside of doing this is that you need a lot of enemies. So anything not in Steel Path can kind of hinder this weapon quite a bit. So I suggest taking this weapon into a steel path mission with a lot of enemies. The enemy density is very important. That's what I'm trying to get at. Because the more you kill, the more ammo you get. And the Brahma is just more carefree because you don't really need to directly hit enemies. Just aim at the floor and the blast radius will carry you through. However, it's not the same with the lens. It's better to get one direct hit for the AoE to then carry over to the next enemies. And yes, this weapon can benefit from Primed Firestorm, increasing its blast radius radius to 10 meters. Now, since it has an innate element of cold, if you equip a singular element, only the radial attack will combine with that singular element. So that means your initial direct hit will deal impact and the modded element for then the radial attack to combine with that modded element. For example, if you have only Toxin on your weapon, you will get Impact Toxin, Cold, then Viral. Hopefully you understand that. It's not the best if you want Viral by modding it with one element. It's more consistent if you mod both Toxin and Cold to get the Viral combination on the first hits. So giving this another point to the Kuva Brahma, where you can have a bonus element. So basically you will have one free mod slot. Okay, so for the synergy here, I'm using Frost. Why Frost? Well, because it's an ice bow, I decided to go with an ice Warframe. And since we don't have a free mod slot on that bow, I did have to sacrifice Prime Firestorm. So I can have a decent mod combination without losing out so much, which is just fine because you still have a seven meter AOE explosion, more than enough to kill anything. All right, here's another thing that Brahma excels at. It's bigger. Yeah, it has an extra inch. I mean, it has an extra 1.1 meter on its blast radius. So again, that's another point to the Kuva Brahma. I'm sorry. But now, how to consistently kill enemies? Well, for one, we gotta group them up. So my helmet on Frost is in Snare from Korra. Tag one enemy to yoink others into one clump. And another great thing is that Frost has his fourth ability, which can armor strip. And this armor strip is permanent. And it's also a great crowd control. On top of that, that fourth ability has an augment called Biting Frost. Frozen enemies will take 200% crit chance and 200% critical damage. So that's why we get those juicy red crits. And it's Warframe. Everybody loves the red crits. And yes, more crits, more damage. So what's the rotation to this build? Very simple. Make sure they're grouped up and armor strip and just shoot them in the face. However, if you want an ability round down, pretty simple. You can slow them down with the second ability so it can be easier for you to freeze them with your fourth to then group them up with your ensnare. 
or if you want a safer route, cast your bubbles so no one can shoot at you, press your four to freeze them, group them up, and shoot. Or group them up, freeze them, then shoot. It, it, as long as they're grouped up and frozen, you can shoot them in the face. Th that's it. It's that simple. If you have a hard time understanding this, th I, I don't know. All right, first, let's take a look at the Prisma Lens builds. I'll have two builds for you. Very simple, very easy to perform. Our base damage is going to be a primary merciless. And some of you might be asking, hey, why don't you use longbow sharp shot? Well, that is not great for AOE weapons because you only get this buff on a headshot and it's only on your next shot, which is not very good or consistent. So the steel path base damage or canes are just way better. You have your faction damage mod, crit chance, crit damage, multi shot, hunter munitions and your elemental combination to form viral and finally vile acceleration for that juicy fire rate, reducing our charge rate to 0.33. As you can see with critical delay, we get a 150% crit chance. That's 50% chance to hit an orange crit. And if you're using a Sentinel with the Vigilante mods, that can easily get in the red crit territory. However, with that 200% crit chance increase, we are going to be a red critting no problem. And without freezing enemies, you have a 6.2 times critical multiplier. That's a lot of damage. Nothing to scoff at. So that is the Viral Hunter Munitions build. And yes, you are right, there is no point to run Hunter Munitions if I'm armor stripping the enemies. This build is universal and you can use it anywhere you want. And plus, even if you're armor stripping, you're going to have one or two enemies that are not armor stripped. So it's just really good to kill stragglers. Moving on to the basic corrosive build. This is where we get to actually mod for Firestorm since we don't need hunting munitions. Deals a lot of raw damage. This can be very good with literally any Warframe or a quick Steel Path mission. And plus with the cold procs, that's easy crowd control. But then you'll have some people asking, but hey, since you're grouping them up, armor stripping, wouldn't gas be also very useful? I mean, sh sure, but is it really needed? All right, let's take a look at the Frost build. In the Arcanes, I do have Molt Augmented because you need a total of 168% power strength to get that full armor strip from his Avalanche. Brief Respite in the Aura for the Energy to Shield conversion. And yes, I am using a Decaying Dragon Key. Range at 175%. This gives my Avalanche a 26 meter radius. Ensnare a 17 meter radius. So we're able to cover quite a lot of ground. Natural talent is a must because we need that casting speed. However, if you love your frost that much, I would highly advise to equip the two amber shards to give you that casting speed. But in my case, I do have one red shard for that additional 10% power strength. So with max stacks of Molt Augmented and the 10%, I'll have more than enough power to strip my enemies. Biting Frost Augment for that crit chance and crit damage increase on frozen enemies. Equilibrium for the orb pickup conversion because I will have synth mods on my Sentinel. And yes, this build is energy hungry because we're going to be casting a lot of abilities. So Energize and the Equilibrium combo with the efficiency is definitely needed. Anyway, folks, that is the T I I mean Prisma Lens. Unfortunate to anyone who was looking for it for the teen at lens. But this will suffice. I mean, we're getting a lot of revamp to a lot of weapons. But this is something decent and it gives you mastery rank XP. I mean, that's a win-win, right? Anyway, folks, that has been it for me. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.